Hey guys, my name's Ben from Ben's Guide, and in the video today, I'm going to be sharing with you the news on the Canon EOS R5 firmware update. This is 1.10. Now, this has come out today, and it's got three key improvements, which I think you guys are going to be interested in. First up, you've got the improved image stabilization when paired with the RF 100 through to 500 millimeter USM telezoom lens. Now, there was issues with this before, but this is something which Canon said has been improved now and is going to be significantly better. Next up, you can now enable the overheat control option when using an external HDMI recorder. And thirdly, probably the one that most people are going to be interested in is Canon say that they've adjusted the way that the Canon EOS R5 monitors temperatures in the R5 body. What does that mean? Well, it means that it's going to have some benefits when it comes to overheating issues. Now, before we jump into the video, I want to know what you guys think of this firmware update. So at the end of the video, let me know in the comments below if you think Canon have done a good job or if you think they've really missed the mark and they should have done more. Now, there's been lots of controversy online about the Canon EOS R5 and if there really is a temperature issue with the camera or have Canon decided that they don't want to bastardize the market when it comes to their Canon cinema line. Because if this camera could do most things that the cinema line could do, why would you be paying two or three times more the value? Now there may or there may not be a controversy when it comes to this camera, but Canon has ensured that with this new firmware update, you're gonna be waiting less time before you can switch your camera back on after it's switched off with overheating issues. Also, Canon has said that you might be able to use external cooling devices like fans, fridges, freezers, whatever you want to use to cool down this device quicker. And that will mean that your waiting times will also be even less as well. Now, this all sounds pretty good, doesn't it? But if you're expecting a big difference to your camera with this firmware update, you might be a little bit disappointed. Now, yesterday, Gordon from Camera Labs actually got his hands on the Canon EOS R5 with the firmware update and actually tested this out. And I'm going to share the results with you in this video. When shooting in 4K HQ mode, the R5 managed 30 minutes recording time with the new firmware update before it switched off. After this, he got another 10 minutes recording time when it was switched back on. After the camera was then switched off for another 10 minutes, it then made five minutes recording time and switching it off for 20 minutes, it managed another 10 minutes recording time. So there's definitely an improvement when it comes to the waiting time on the R5. This was also noticeable with 8K, taking the previous max recording time of one clip from 20 minutes now up to 26 minutes. But honestly, guys, these are small changes. And where the difference is really noticed and the way this firmware update really shines through is actually recording smaller clips. When shooting short 30 second clips in 4K 120 frames per second mode, and then switching the camera off after each 30 second recording clip, so basically doing a 30 second on, 30 second off, there was a big difference. First, this was tested without the firmware update to see how it performed. The Canon EOS R5 managed 22 clips of 4K 120 frames per second footage. And this meant it got 11 minutes of video before the camera completely shut down. But with the firmware update applied to the EOS R5, there was a huge amount of difference. The Canon EOS R5 managed 96 clips, equaling 48 minutes of footage in total. That's a huge improvement when shooting with this camera for short duration. This then took 32 minutes to completely cool down so that you could repeat this process all over again. So I understand that if you're someone that shoots maybe commercial video or you need the R5 for longer clips, then this is probably still going to be a disappointment. And I understand, I get that. But if you're someone that actually shoots shorter clips, and you want access to 4K and 8K, then this is gonna come as a really nice surprise because you're gonna be able to use the R5 going forward and make the most of it in these shorter durations. Now, it's worth me mentioning that Canon have also said to add on to this firmware update that there's gonna be further improvements in future. 
So I would expect to find more improvements to this overheating issue in the near future. Now, if you want to find out even more details about this firmware update, then I encourage you to check out Gordon's video over at Camera Labs. If you haven't seen his content before, then I'll leave a link in the description so you can go check out the video there. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, guys, please hit subscribe and the notification bell because I'd love to have you join the channel and whatever you do for the rest of the day. Make sure it's a good one and I'll see you in the next video.